All right, what's going on, folks? Oh, okay. Gonna jump right into it. I hope everybody's doing well. What's going on, Amanda, Trisha, Jeremy? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? How's everybody's day going? Let's see if we can draw a polar bear. So check it out. I'll show you the reference photo uh, here. Got a pretty nice, I don't know. I thought this photo was pretty cool. It's kind of different. Kind of different than maybe stuff that I usually do. You know, he's kind of crouching down, looking right at the camera. He looks so innocent and and happy, even though he could just rip you to shreds in like one second. But uh, he looks happy. Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to try to block this in real quick. Just get something to start with, right? Like I always do. So I determined the width here pretty much, you know, here to here. So now I just got to figure out the height, right? So boom, there's the width. Let's see if we can, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll try to draw a little dark so you guys can see that. So I'm just going to try to figure out, try to guesstimate here in the beginning. If I, if I need to, then I will measure, but... Um, so the way that I kind of start out drawing like this, I mean, I've said it a lot of times, but... Um, <clears throat> I, I, tr I try to, like, merge a few different ways of drawing. So I start out with straight lines like this, um, but then sometimes I also add in these curves and more flowy kind of um, shapes to break things down, you know, like his head here, its head. I don't know if this is a, a female or not. Um, <clears throat> so I have, I have a few different methods that I, I kind of intuitively merge together, you know. <clears throat> This definitely would make a beautiful watercolor painting. Uh, that may be something I do next week, possibly. Um, maybe do a watercolor of this one. That'd be pretty cool. Because it, it does have like a lot of subtle, you know, painting a white polar bear, there's a lot of subtlety going on there with color and stuff. So it could be definitely, definitely interesting. <clears throat> uh, Candy says, he looks friendly like he wouldn't eat you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He does, and I think because of Coca-Cola we all have it in our head that, you know, he's just, he has a bottle of Coke in his pocket, he's going to pop it open, start drinking it, you know what I mean? But, not really. Not really. This thing is a beast, and it will murder you in less than a second, with no remorse, no care crazy pretty crazy all right I think we're looking pretty good here as far as guesstimations I think uh, it's probably easier for you guys to see if I'm off or not because um, I'm, I'm pretty close to it so it's sometimes it's hard to see um, yeah I don't I don't touch soda either I haven't had soda uh, I think the last time I had soda was 2009. Yeah, that was something I gave up a long time ago when I was in college. I decided to... In the beginning, it was to save money, like, because I was eating out at, like, fast food restaurants a lot because I was in college, and it was convenient. And, uh... I was like, oh, I'll just start getting water at all these restaurants. You can save a lot of money. Uh, and then I got into it for, like, health reasons. And I was like, man, this stuff is just bad for you. And I felt better. And uh, I slowly started getting healthier and healthier from there. And now I try to eat fruits and vegetables all the time. So imagine that. It all started from just quitting soda one year when I was 19.
maybe a little long here. Uh, might be a little long. Just trying to, I'm trying to stare at the photo here. I'll show you guys one more time just for all the folks that kind of came in late. Here's the reference photo. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now. Uh, it seems like, uh, it seems like either the leg back here and the arm can come back more, I think. <clears throat> what size paper do you prefer and pencils? Uh, pencils, I don't know. I just use these drawing pencils I bought years ago. I'm not really, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you have some kind of pencil. Uh, the paper I'm using is 9 by 12 tone tan paper. So that's what I like using for these anyway. It fits perfectly on the screen and everything. But it's a good size sketchbook too. You know, I've had, I've had these size sketchbooks for a while. So I don't like doing stuff too large because it ends up just becoming a burden to me. It's hard to move around and carry around and stuff. Um, <clears throat> they use it to clean carburetors. Yeah, it's true, Philip. They use coke can be used, but wouldn't that just mean it can clean your insides out really well? I mean, right? <laughs> no, it's not how it works. It's not how it works, folks. But you know, it's like eating uh, oily foods. You know, wouldn't the oil just kind of lubricate your heart? You know what I mean? Like uh, keep keep the machine pumping really well. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you do portraits of people? Uh, very rarely I do. I have some, uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you real quick from the past. So these are animals I've done, but uh, I have some people in here. Let me see, I think, I think it's this sketchbook. Here we go. This is a study of a painting I did. And I've done a few of those. Here's a whole page about uh, why trees and forests are pretty cool. Um, something I wrote down. Just trying to get my thoughts out. Um, let's see, is there any other portraits in here? Here's a portrait I did in charcoal. And white charcoal. Uh, that's also a study of a painting. Here's some other study. This is a Bouguereau study that I did. And this is a sergeant study. Just something quick, you know. It's not like, they're not super... The value's not dark or anything. Um, other portraits here, trying to study, trying to get the width and stuff right. Um, so yeah, I sometimes do portraits, but it's been a while. It's been a while. I don't do uh, I don't do a lot of portraits. These are that head that I study. Um, anyway, I think you get the idea. And then I ended up going into animals a lot and so I, I kind of try to do animals more because I just I like animals uh, basically because you know you don't really have to find a likeness that much with animals unless you're doing like someone's pet and then it's it's a little more important to capture the the likeness or at least try to for perspective drawing, would you recommend 11 by 14? 11 by 14 is pretty good. I have one of those somewhere. Uh, yeah, 11 by 14 is fine. Um, yeah, I have a lot of a lot of those animals I drew on on live streams here. So, like you guys saw at the beginning, I mean these are all drawings I've done on the live stream here. I'm, you can find. All the drawings on my website, uh, SchaeferFineArt.com. I also have uh, other watercolor paintings and stuff as well. I do watercolors. So there's a whole bunch of stuff over on my website. I also have a support page where you can donate to me. You know, if you like my videos, want to help me keep going, or you can support me on Patreon. I have some t-shirts and stuff. And I also have music that I make in my own time, uh, like piano music, uh, hip-hop kind of music, or just random stuff that I come up with. Uh, on my Bandcamp page, so you guys can check that out over at my website. 
So, and my website's always right above me here, way up there at the top, SchaeferFineArt.com in the corner. So, anyway, let's try to keep going with this drawing. I'm taking forever on this thing. It's supposed to be already in the pen by now, at least in the next five minutes. So the crucial part here is, is getting the the face, right? I mean, that's what's really gonna, that's really my focal point, that's what's gonna make this thing. I mean, the water's pretty cool too, there's a little bit of reflections here coming down like this. Um, so that's kind of important as well. But the focal point really here is the face. So, I'm gonna try my best to get this bear to look like Winnie the Pooh's cousin, you know what I'm saying? From the frozen north. I don't think this guy's ever had any honey like Winnie the Pooh. Maybe that's why they're so mean, you know? They have to eat all this, all these seals and stuff. And they're probably hard to catch. I'd be mad too all the time. You know? When really they just need some honey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wonder why Winnie the Pooh's so chilled out, you know? He just hangs out with his friends. Hundred Acre Woods. I'm thinking of Winnie the Pooh because I have all those children's uh, drawing, drawings from when I was a kid. I drew Winnie the Pooh a lot. I showed those on the last few live streams. It's stuck in my head now. <clears throat> okay, looking pretty pretty well. Now we just gotta get his nose up in here. It's kinda hard to see where his nose ends and begins. Something. So it looks like lined up with his other eye. That might be too far over. That might be a little, tiny bit too far over. Let's try that again. So if something's wrong, you gotta fix it, right? If it's broken, you gotta fix it. And then his nose lines up, boom, right there. Pretty sure. Boom, yeah. It's pretty close to that, pretty close to that. Something like this. So his snout comes down to there, and then bottom of his mouth here. Oh, look at that, he's looking like he's smiling almost. It's very nice. Here, I'll zoom this in for you guys, sorry about that. And let's focus it, boom. Okay, now we're, now we're cooking with oil. Yeah, we're cooking with oil, right? But don't cook with oil, it's bad for you, even though I do it all the time, but whatever. Gotta live a little, right? Just don't do it too much. Okay, try to get some of these little details in here around his eyes, his nose. Mouth. He definitely doesn't look like he has a little buddy named Piglet, that's for sure. This guy definitely does not look like that. Oh man. I think that's just what he needs though, you know what I mean? I think he'd be a little more a little more calm. If he had somebody to help him through his problems. Okay, I think we're looking good. Or at least the bear looks good. I don't know about me, but uh the bear's looking good.
Man, they got massive paws here. It's such a weird. That's such a weird looking paw. If you guys look at the uh, the paw I'm drawing here, look at the photo. That's such a weird paw. It's like he's grabbing, he's like wrapping around the sheet of ice and his claws are going into the water. Like his hand just looks like it's flat. Like, like it's, it's so weird it doesn't look right to me. But I guess that is, it looks like when you draw like a amateur looking human hand and everything is evenly spaced that's what his that's what his paw looks like it looks very bizarre try to modify it a bit maybe oh well it's not that crucial anyway um, what's crucial here is the ice line even that's not that crucial, but you know, we'll make it a little jagged and stuff. And then, uh, okay. Uh, we got some ice stacks here. So I think I'm, I'm almost, I'm getting really close. Let's see, I'm 16, 17 minutes in. Yeah, I think we got to start with the, get with the pin going soon. Uh, I'm still, I'm still a little, I'm a little worried about some of the spacing back here, but uh, I think it looks okay. You know, I, I don't, I'm not gonna stress about it too much, you know. Might as well make them a bigger bear, you know what I mean? It's a polar bear, so. I think it's okay to make him a little bit bigger. His face does look a little funny, but I think it's it's just lacking some of the light and form that the photo has. So I think once I kind of you know, once I shade all this in here with the pen, it'll start it'll start to round and make more sense hopefully. Um I think most of his face is gonna be the tone of the paper anyway. I think most of the shadowing is gonna be under here and then a little bit of light casting on his backside and then on his shoulders and the elbow and then on the, on the snow and ice. But the rest of it, uh, tone of the paper. So we have three main values here basically. That's what I'm gonna be focusing on. And we'll try to keep the tone of the paper here for the reflections too possibly or maybe a little bit of white because they are kind of light when I look at them actually very bright here but we'll keep one line down here and then there's some darker areas too so okay I think I'm, I feel okay with this feel good let's try to get rid of some of these harsh lines uh, actually you know what? I think I'm going to erase the whole thing and start over let's do that Let's just erase the whole thing, start over. All right. Yeah, I don't really like what I drew, so let's just start over. Just kidding, folks. I'm just lightening it up a bit so that I can start with the pen and it won't be too distracting, that's all. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Hopefully this pen will work. Yep, looks good. Man, I haven't drawn pen and ink in so long. It's been like a few weeks, huh? Wow, this feels so weird. Let's, let's zoom in here for you guys. Let's... Uh, for watercolor, would you just leave the paper white for his white? Absolutely. Yep, I would. Yeah, for like the white on the... I'm, I'm, I'm going to do watercolor this next week, I think. Um, I would do this watercolor like tomorrow, but I already have the rest of the week scheduled. I don't really want to change it. So I think next week I'll do a watercolor of this one. And uh, yeah, th these little strips of light coming on his shoulder and his back. I would leave that white of the paper, absolutely. Mm. Six, 
exactly what I would do. It's a good question. Good question. <clears throat> Nobody, I didn't fool anybody. Nobody thought I was really going to erase everything. Come on. You guys just aren't being honest. <laughs> Nobody's saying anything. I like, I quieted the whole chat. Everybody's like freaking out. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I can't fool you. Yeah, of course. Okay. I know, I tried to make it seem like that's what I was really plan really doing. But most of the vets who've been watching for a while, the veterans here, they know what they know what I do. I lighten it up before I start with the ink. Just because with the ink, I like to be, I try to be a little free with it, you know, and, and if there's too much pencil, I end up just following the pencil like exactly. And I, I just want it to be a guide. And it just allows me, sometimes it allows me to just be a little more free with uh, my lines and stuff and what I want to do. Okay, getting too, going too far back for you guys. I'm gonna change the camera in just a second. So right now I'm kind of just doing some of the, the beginning line work, you know. I'm not uh I'm not working on shading yet or anything like that. Um So I'm trying to make my lines interesting. If you guys see there like you know, this thing is really furry, so I'm kind of just breaking up some of the lines. I don't want it to just be straight lines everywhere, like completely outlined. Um, you know. This guy's big and, and fluffy, so I'm, I'm trying to show that a bit. Um, and with the some of the snow patterns and stuff, I want to make these a little more jagged and straight so that it kind of maybe just contrasts a little bit with him, her, it, thing, bear. Don't eat me. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this, actually. I like how this is going out, coming out. I always say that all the time. I like how this is looking. Except when it sucks, then I say that it sucks. <laughs> okay. Some fur growing up there. trying to show some of the um, form here a bit. I'll probably start shading here in a second. Um, Got to get the face in there though. Save that for last because it's uh, the scary part. Not just because 
it's a bear, but because it's it's a critical part to get right in the drawing, so I want to make sure I get it right. But it is quite scary to look at. Okay. Okay, I'm going to slow down here a bit because I just want to be a bit more controlled around these parts. Okay, feel good about that. And I'm going to try to not fill them in all the way. Because sometimes I make that mistake. Because uh, they, they do look dark and very black, but they're not actually filled in all the way. I know if I need to, there are some highlights in the eyes I can put. I probably will put some white pen highlights on there. But it just looks a little more alive if there's a little bit of light in, in it. Um, if you, I feel like every time I do it like too dark, and I may have already gone too dark, it just looks flat, you know. Um, did I miss a question? What's the starter pack of pencils and pens for beginners? Uh... I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if there is really like a starter pack. Um, you know, just you can go on. I just, I, I use these kind of pens, Pigma Micron 05, um, and any kind of drawing pencils you find online, any drawing set of pencils. Prismacolor is good drawing pencils. There's Prismacolor pens as well. So if you want to just get all Prismacolor stuff. Um, this is an 08, but I do have 05s as well. So, yeah, I mean, materi materials matter, but they're not that, this kind of stuff is not that crucial. If you're just like doing some small stuff in your sketchbook, it's not that crucial. Just, just buy something, just use it. Get some drawing, stuff that's for art, stuff that's for drawing and start using it. That's what's important. Most people waste all their time figuring out what's the right materials and they never actually do it. They never actually practice. I mean, the practice is way more important than the materials. Materials matter. I'm not saying they don't matter. I mean, it's good to have high quality materials because you're going to get better, better quality stuff. You're going to be able to have more control especially with paint and paper, watercolor paper, watercolor paint, stuff like that. But, you know, it's just pencils and pens, you know. Get a set of drawing pencils, make sure you have a few different kinds of pencils so that you can um, get some different values. And uh, yeah, start drawing, get a nice little eraser, kneaded eraser that you can mold, shape, Needed as in K-N-E-A-D, E-D, needed. Not, not like something you actually need. It's like something that you need, you work, whatever. You guys get it. So I hope, I hope that answered your question, you know, just, just get something, start using it, have fun. I have some links and stuff. If you look at uh, the other, um, it is Amazon day. Yeah. So the, there's a pen link in the, dis, in the, uh, description, in the chat. If you go to my other videos, like any of my other live streams, like some of my older live streams, I'll have. In the comment section, there'll be a pinned comment of all the materials that I use. Um, you know.
But uh, if you use those links, if you use those links to buy things, if you click my link first and then you buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon, it's gonna help me out. It gives me a little commission at uh, no extra cost to you, believe it or not. So I end up getting like four to five percent. So if you spend a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks, it's kind of like giving me a four dollar donation, four to five dollar donation. But it doesn't add any more money to you. It takes the money from Amazon, which is great. Uh, Amazon already has enough money. I think I need more money, not Amazon. So, pretty happy about that. <laughs> okay, let's pay attention here. I know this side of the face a little bit darker. I don't want to go too dark. I might have already gone too dark. But this is this is where all the contrast is going to be. So I'm trying to follow the form a bit here. Uh, for it to be morning, it's like it's in Asia right now. It's morning over in Asia. I'm not in Asia, but I know most people that get on here and they're in Asia, it's like morning, depending on where they are. Like Philippines, stuff like that, Indonesia, Malaysia. It's like, I don't even know what time it is over there. It's pretty, it's morning. So all the countries around there, it's going to be morning. When it's uh, evening over here, it's like 5.30 here, something like that. So over there, it's like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. It's pretty cool. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy how flat Earth works, right? <laughs> Get it, folks. Get it. Get it. So I'm just trying to make little fur looking shapes here. Um, uh, I don't have any affiliate links for .ca, which is Canada, I believe. Um, uh, unfortunately, no, do not. I was signed up to all the other countries, but nobody ordered anything through all the other countries, so it ended up they all just expired, like all those accounts that I had on Amazon. Like if you don't if you don't sell something within like 90 days or something, it, so I, I I get most of the affiliate through U.S. I don't even know if there is one for Canada. At, at least you know it was mostly for all the other countries like. Germany, Japan, uh, all these other places. But I don't think they had one for Canada. Maybe Canada goes underneath the US as well. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. To be honest, I'm really not sure how it works. But all you have to do is literally click my link and then you just buy anything you want. You can buy groceries or mountain bike or whatever and I get a commission for it, so it's pretty sweet. Um, the link lasts for 24 hours, so you'd have to buy stuff within 24 hours of clicking that one link. But that's kind of how it works. So its ears are a little dark, so just trying to get those in there. And... Uh, Around its nose here is a bit dark, so trying to put that in. I'm trying to work in the darkest areas and then move lighter and lighter. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if it looks like it or not, but I'm working on it.
Okay. Was just curious in general, maybe specifically for the. Uh, oh, let me see. Did I miss a question here? Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. For the book when it comes out. Um, uh, right now, it's it's uh, the the. Uh, I should be hearing back uh, at the end of this month, hopefully, of when the release date is. Uh, it's going to be next year. It's going to be next year, no doubt. Um, at this point, it's going to be next year, unfortunately. It's kind of it's kind of being held back right now, uh, just for research reasons and stuff like that. Um, but I can't really talk much about it. But yeah, sometime next year. Uh, like I said, you guys will definitely hear about it when I, when I start promoting it and stuff. So, yeah, unfortunately it's going to be sometime next, early, early next year, hopefully though. Maybe January, February, something like that. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping. But right now I have no clue. Um, haven't heard anything in a few weeks, so I'm just waiting for them to Get back to me. But they're kind of, uh, they're re looking at their data for the best time to launch this thing. Because the, the original date they had was so dumb. Like, it was really one of the worst dates to release anything. So I think it was just kind of a date that they had. And they realize that they're going to have to redo that date later on, and that's what they're doing. So I'm just being patient. Okay, I think that's enough shading for the head at the moment. Maybe a little more on this side just to round it a little bit more. Um... Try to push this just a little bit more. Okay. I think the white pin and the water reflections here are gonna make this thing pop. So this is where we are right now, folks. Somewhere in the North Pole, I guess, is where we are. Yep, no worries, Jeremy. I appreciate that. Really, really, really appreciate that. Appreciate this support. I might end up selling some copies on my website too, so you can buy from me directly um, if you'd rather do that. So I might, I might end up doing that. Just a few copies. Um, I haven't considered that a lot yet, but it might be something I do. That way I can personally ship them out, you know. Um, some of them for those who are interested, you know, kind of just the people that really want to support me and the people that uh, follow me for a while really want to support me in a way that could be something that would be interesting. You know, I might do some kind of promotion, you know, add like a little unique sketch in with it or something, or, you know, I don't, I don't know, no promises. I'm just throwing out ideas or something, but uh, could be cool. I'll try to figure something out. But I need to wait and uh, try to figure that out when I, when I actually have a copy of the book in hand and a, a few of them in my possession, then I can 
work on figuring that out. Actually, I don't think I don't think I can sell them through my website. Actually, I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember what the deal with that is. But um, either way, I'll figure something out. I can't remember the terms. What I'm allowed to do. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to refresh my memory on that stuff later on, so that I don't don't break the contract. Don't want to breach breach the contract, you know. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. This looks pretty cool. I may have to darken the face a bit, um, or I may have to add light to the face, I think. Let's do a little bit more lines right over the face there, and then up here. How long have I been going? 42 minutes, all right, I think we're getting close to adding some of the white ink, and we'll just see, uh, see where we're at here in a second. I think I went a little too dark here. Oh, that's a bummer. Living in Argentina, so there's a lot of taxes and restrictions to... Yeah, I know. And it, shipping is such a such a pain, man. I, I don't know why they, they make things so difficult, you know. I mean, I understand if you're like a business and you're shipping like a ton of stuff to a certain place, you know, like and you have to have trade deals and all this kind of thing, but like, man, if you're just trying to send like one little thing to somebody else, I don't know why it, it's such a hassle, you know gotta have this kind of paper and this paperwork and then we're gonna open up and inspect it and do all the stuff and it's just like gosh like can't I just trying to send somebody a letter like what's the big deal <laughs> uh, but I get it security and all this stuff it's just crazy just wish there was some way that could make things easier for people you know It's funny humans, you know, we think we're like, we're the, sm the smartest animal and thing on planet Earth, but why is everything so difficult then? Like, why can't we figure out how to really make this stuff easier, you know? It's like, this stuff's just becoming so much harder. You need all this money, you gotta be rich, you gotta do this, you gotta do... It's like, dude, what, like... Yeah, it's just annoying sometimes, you know? Fill out all this paperwork and blah, blah. It's a pain, that's for sure. Okay, I think I need to do the water now. Or at least put some kind of lines down here a bit. Yeah, when I drew those, I thought it did it did kind of look like eyelashes when I I did some of that shading. I thought the same thing actually. But it kind of is. It's kind of like his eyebrows or whatever, you know. There's like this dark area around his eyes. 
underneath too. Try not to go too much here. Okay, um, Amazon cannot ship everywhere. Um, that's the problem. That's the thing. Like, even Amazon can't even ship everywhere. I mean, there's plenty of countries you can't ship Amazon. People can't buy from Amazon because it doesn't ship to their country. Um, you know, here in the United States, like, we'd have no idea about that because we're just so used to, oh, yeah, just buy it on Amazon. But... Yeah, people don't even have access to that kind of stuff, unfortunately, unfortunately. You know, there's companies where you can ship it to their company from Amazon and then they ship it to your country, but, you know, it's just another cost. But, I mean, for people, if that's what you have to do, then that's what you have to do. But, yeah, it's a bummer. It's really a bummer. You think by now they would, if they want to make money, more money, I mean, you think they would figure that out by now. But I think it's it's probably the, the countries as well. They probably, they're not letting Amazon do business or not doing this because they know it's just going to put all the local stuff out of business. So, yeah, who knows? It's all crazy stuff. I'm just rambling anyway. All right, let's have the white pen. I'm done with this. I'm tired of this uh, stuff. Let's get rid of that line a bit. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these white pens. I realize the ink, you can see there, the ink starts, uh, ink does not last very long in these pens. Like, look at this. You see the ink running out. So, I am going to have to buy more pens soon. All right, let's see. It looks like the lightest part is back here on his back. Folks, here we go. This is the big moment. The big furry moment. Sorry, folks. There we go.
Okay, all right, let's keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. It's probably too bright there. Knock that down a bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, white white charcoal pencil could be used, yeah. But I, I, I'm just using pen and ink, so that's what I'm going with. Yeah, this, this ink pen is very bright white, that's why I like it. You get a lot of contrast. to look less bright then I just space it out a little bit more and then I can transition between tones You guys falling asleep yet? Anybody bored yet? Uh, someone asks, uh, I'm just not really getting into drawing. What are some tips for someone a little past beginner but still learning? Um, Hmm. Well, I would keep, obviously, keep practicing, keep drawing a lot, and keep learning. You know, keep. I, I would. What I would start to do um, is start assessing. Start. Try to start assessing your weak spots. Right. Like, are you weak at shading? Like, what? What is something you want to get better at overall? Like a certain aspect of drawing you know proportions or you know what, what things do you struggle with basically and because uh, if you're a little past beginner maybe you know some of this stuff from drawings that you do you know you know your weakness is in shading or your weakness is in proportions or perspective and uh, what I would do is start learning more about that stuff and start practicing that stuff like spend a week and just, or a few days or however long, and really, really get better uh, at that kind of kind of stuff, right? You know. Um, so yeah, I would start, you know, start critiquing your work that you do uh, yourself. Maybe try to get critiques from other artists. 
and see how you can start keep improving your drawings. Uh, and also try to find like what you're interested in if you don't know already, you know. Um, like for me, I draw animals a lot, so I kind of know that's one of the things that I like to do, I like to draw, so. For me, it's pretty simple. You know, I kind of already know what I like to do. And for the most part, I know some things that are difficult for me to draw. I know that I'm gonna have certain weak spots. Excuse me, folks. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I would just like assess your drawings and try to keep working at them and keep learning more. You know, don't ever, don't stop learning. So I'm just trying to put some, just filling in some highlights and stuff on the ice here. Looks pretty harsh, but uh, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we might need some more transitional marks and stuff, maybe. Might use a jelly roll. It's a little less bright. And I might do some subtle shading, maybe. Let's see if we can get some subtle shading on the face with this. Yeah, it looks brighter on the camera, actually, than it does in real life. Maybe we can smooth out some of this transition as well. Just trying to make trying to make it look a little more organic here, more. A little less harsh, you know. Anyway, I hope, I hope that helped. Um, what is a good store website to get some solid pins that white really pops? This one, uh, I have a link link in the in the uh, chat there. Um, this is a, what is it called? Oh, here we go. It's a Uniball Signo. There you go. Uniball Signo, UM153. So just Google that or Amazon that, or click the link in the uh, in the uh, chat there. I've also in the past I use these jelly rolls. These are a little bit less bright. Jelly roll 08. These are a little less bright. Um, I'll try to show you here the difference. Hopefully this will still write. Um, so here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, if you see the difference there, this line here to this line, it's just a, it's a little less bright, especially when it's almost out of ink. Um, yeah, so I really like the uh, the ones I got. The white, the white really pops. It's hard to get them to draw consistently. Um, you know, sometimes they're a little hard to get it to go, but once you get it going, sometimes it's pretty good for the most part. It, it can just be annoying sometimes to get them to, to write when you want them to, but it's not too bad. But if you have both of these, you know, you can use the jelly roll as kind of like a reflected light. You know, it's a little less bright and then this one can be like the highlights. Um, so that's kind of what I use. Try to fill that out more on the face. 
So I'm using the jelly roll, just kind of putting a little bit of reflected light in there. It's almost, it's almost out of ink. It's almost done. Done for. But yeah, it's probably too bright, everything I just did. But it's not bad, not bad. Okay. So maybe we'll smooth out some of this line right here. I'm just trying to make like a little transition there from this light tone to into that shadow. Did I really need to do it that much? Not really, but like I said, I'm just trying to get it to look a little more like fur and there's little bits of light hitting all these different areas of fur and stuff. You know, I don't want it to be like a sharp line anywhere. When you look at it, see now it looks a little more organic. Well, you can see the edge of his arm there, you know? But there is like other, it fades out a little bit. We'll just give a little idea of a background. I don't I don't want to put white in the background because then it would lose kind of that nice edge we got there. Um, so I'll just kind of give little hints of some kind of landscape back there, but nothing too crazy. We don't have to go that high either, just something back there. A little suggestion of stuff going on, you know. Um, what's going on Nathan thanks for tuning in can you put the photo reference in your Instagram uh, you can find this very easily actually if you go to um, unsplash, unsplash.com, U-N-Splash, S-P-L-A-S-H.com, and you just search polar bear, this will be one of the top photos on there. You can easily find it. Um, so definitely check that out if you want to find this photo reference. I'll put it on the screen right now, too, if anybody, if you want to take a screenshot or something, then, boom, there it is. You know, you can pause the video, take a screenshot, whatever you want to do. But if you just go to unsplash.com and type in polar bear, uh, you will find this photo. Uh, Hannah, yes, she really is my older sister. Amanda really is my older sister. As far as I know, I don't think we're adopted. I think my family would have told us by now. Hopefully. Maybe not. Mom, do you have anything to tell me? Are we adopted? <laughs> I don't think so, so. Um, what else can I do? What was, what else was I going to do with this thing? I don't remember. Huh. Um. Yeah, no problem. Enrique, 
glad it was helpful. I think I'll put some white in the water. Just because it's kind of cool looking. I like the little texture I'm getting. Kind of really matches the water actually. So the way this pen writes, sometimes it just kind of skips over the texture of the paper. It doesn't really come out evenly. So I'm kind of using that to my advantage because it makes it look really textured like the photo. So that's why it's good. It's good to use and understand your materials, you know, and what kind of effects you can achieve. Draw a lot, paint a lot, whatever. Whatever a lot. I'll zoom that out a little bit. Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. I think, uh... Boom, oh, I like that, I like that a lot. Looks really nice. Um, what else, what else? Maybe darken the water a bit here for reflections. Darken some of this snow or something. Uh, the edge of this water. Well, I'm glad we sorted out who my family really is. Okay, cool. Turns out I'm not adopted. All right. Um, yeah, I kind of like that now. I think I like that a bit more. Um, looks okay, I guess. Not exactly like the photo, but is it ever really exactly like the photo? Not really. Not really. That would be boring anyway. I might as well just keep the photo. What do I need to draw it for? You know? I'm not adopted in this reality. Yep, I guess so. Very true. Hmm. I kind of, I really like this background. It gives a nice little, nice little perspective of depth. Kind of cool. Um, maybe some of this could be darkened a bit. Just, in, just to give a little bit of difference there to something, I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Um,
So what I'm doing is I'm just squinting at the photo and then I'm comparing it to my drawing. And the face, I don't want to do it, but I think I might have to. The face needs to be darker. I don't want to do it. I really don't. I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. How long have I been on here? Hour and 11 minutes. Okay. Getting close to the end here, folks, but I do think I need to darken some of the face, unfortunately. It looks a bit flat, and it's just not the right value compared to everything else. And I don't want to make the bear angry. Got to draw its portrait pretty well. Yeah, that gave it more form, you know, rounded it a bit more. That's kind of what I was looking to do. And I didn't really have to make the whole face a different value. Just a few areas to give it some bone structure, some form to its to its head. Maybe a little bit here. I think that's better. I think it's better. All right. I think problem here, problem right here, too dark, too dark right there. Kind of losing some, losing some stuff there. Uh, try to bring that out with a little jelly roll white pen. Just a little bit. Okay, I think, uh, I think, uh, that's it. I think that's it. Please draw a portrait next time. Uh, okay. I don't have that scheduled, but I will think about it. Mega Cam, that sounds good. That sounds really cool. I hope uh, she'll like it. There we go, a little, little water drip there. Try to anyway. Let's see if we can add a little bit more texture here. Dots and stuff. Very lightly. This is using the jelly roll, so it's a little bit lighter ink. want to give a little bit of atmosphere to this thing, you know? Um, just some texture, just some textural dots, I don't know why. Why? I don't know. I don't know. 
which is kind of cool. Something different. Just wanted to look natural, like nature. Okay. It's very, very little, I can't even tell, but I can see it. I can see it. Uh, yeah, anyway, I think, uh, I don't know. Pretty good, not bad for, you know, I haven't done a drawing like this in a few weeks, three weeks now or something, so not bad coming at it. Um, after not doing stuff for a while, um, I think part of his eye is a little funny here. I just need to darken it a little bit. There we go. Um, maybe it's nose as well. We'll darken some of this area a bit more. Um, yeah. Not perfect, but not bad. I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Pretty cool. Looks cool, I think. Um, yeah, I think uh, maybe maybe just on this side to balance it a bit more, just add a little more white. Just a contrast against the shadowy part there. And then I can kind of just reinstate this line a little bit more. One thing I could do, I could add a little bit more dynamic line work on some of this. Um, you know, I do have some of it here, like this is pretty thick in some areas right here. So I kind of like that, it's pretty nice. But you know, some areas under here could have some thicker line work. Like I said, I don't, I don't want it to be like solid lines and stuff, but just having some of it be reinstating some of it, that's a little too much up there. <laughs> I'm rubbing it off like it's gonna do something, but it's okay, we can just go over it with a little bit of white jelly roll and knock it down just a bit. Or we can go over it with this white. This will actually cover it. I think another line under here could be good. What I'm basically trying to do with some of this line work is just create like points of tension that, that attract your eye a little bit around the whole thing. So I'm, ma I'm just making some lines a little bit wider and thicker in some areas. And what it does is it just kind of, you, you have to, you have to do it in a certain way. Like I tried doing it up here and it was, it was too much to not, you know, not, not in the right place. So sometimes you try it, it doesn't exactly work. And, and sometimes you have to just, I have to work at it a little bit. Other times it's very easy. This is this is a little more difficult to add dynamic line work because it's he's such a furry animal. But normally if it's not like a very furry animal, it's it's a lot easier to it almost it's very intuitive. This one it's not as intuitive for me to do more dynamic line work. So str just struggling here a little bit. Um Yeah, be sure to um, tell everybody right now, be sure to check out my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. 
got uh, drawings like th this one you're seeing now, watercolor paintings, and also I uh, got a page on there, a support page. I got a blog as well, a bunch of other articles that I wrote in the past. Uh, donate, I got some t-shirts, Patreon page, and also some music that I make for my YouTube channel on my Bandcamp page. Check out my music. So be sure to check all that out. But yeah, uh, I think, you know, there's not really, there's not really any other areas for dynamic line work, really. Um, yeah, I think, I think this, is, this looks pretty good to me. You know, it flows pretty nicely. You know, as far as the the shading and everything, has a nice flow to it. You know, um, I might be darkening too much back here, but it's not a huge deal. I can go over a little bit, some of it. Don't like to do that, but sometimes it is helpful. This look may look a little more natural looking. Um, Yeah, I think that's I think that's an improvement. I think that's an improvement from what it was. You know, I could sit here and keep adding lines all day, but it doesn't more lines don't necessarily make it better, you know. Um, it's 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 about what am I trying to say? Being direct, being purpose, pur putting lines purposely. Um so, anyway guys, uh, I think that's about it. Hopefully I didn't miss any comments or questions or whatever. Do you have a website? Yes, I do. Okay, I think I answered that, hopefully. And the website, guys, in the, this whole video, if you look at the top corner, that red bar that's in the top left of the video, that's my website right there, SchaeferFineArt.com. So uh, what's my earnings from YouTube? I'm not really going to say my earnings. Uh, basically, I can buy groceries every month, let's say that. So I'm not, I'm not making a killing or anything on YouTube. I can, I can buy groceries every month. There you go. Um, So, uh, anyway, guys, um, I will, uh, I will, uh, yeah, be on here tomorrow. I think I have a really, really cool watercolor painting scheduled for tomorrow. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I think I just need to fade this one part out real quick. I'm not really liking how it... I thought it needed more shading, but I think it just needed more fade out of the highlight there. There we go. Um, yeah, really cool watercolor painting tomorrow. So check your subscriptions page for that. Should be pretty cool. I think if I, I hopefully I'm not misremembering what I have scheduled, but uh, anyway. Anyway, folks, um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, check out my website, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I will, yeah, my website always right here, folks, in the video. It's always right there. Bing, bing.